of this whole system of taking in food. Again, I am struck at the parallels to the very current scholarship on the consumption of food. Look at the American diet industry, vast and trendy and complex. Paying attention and eating with gratitude and intention are really at the heart of some of these American dietary trends. Our tradition is built with the expectation that practice is imperfect. For example, tradition maintains that as a kosher home, we keep separate utensils, one for eating meat products and one for eating dairy products. Inevitably, they get mixed up. And when that happens, the remedy is to cleanse them, you must plant them in the earth for a period of time. This explains the fun we have in the spring when we turn over our garden for planting. It's always exciting to find our old spoons, knives, and forks who reappear after a respite in the great outdoors. <laughs> There's a straightforward and accessible way to rectify mistakes. We are human after all. And this is my final idea. Live with ambiguity. Give yourself permission to be confused and imperfect. Know that we really don't know. This personally allows me humility in my tradition and in my life, and it helps me to be relaxed around everyone else. It certainly compels me to respect all those who practice Judaism differently than I do, and all of those who practice religions different than I do. Again, I found an example in last week's Torah portion, Exodus chapter 33, verse 11. And now listen to this, it's amazing. This is Exodus chapter 33, verse 11, and I quote, The Lord would speak to Moses face to face as one man speaks to another, okay? The Lord would speak to Moses face to face. Now fast forward nine verses to chapter 33, verse 20, and I quote, The Lord says to Moses, You cannot see my face, for a man may not see me and live. Okay? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. On the one hand, the Lord is speaking to Moses face to face. On the other hand, you cannot see his face and live. So here we have, in close proximity, two tellings that seem to be in utter contradiction to each other. What do I get out of this? I get that we have to live with confusion. Believe me, this is good training as the parents of three teenagers. <laughs> While I strive to be a good Jew, I do so with the knowledge that I don't have a singular, exclusive truth. For me, this is a message to value the question as much as the answer, the journey as much as the destination. My tradition and the richness of my heritage are precious. They are my precious inheritance. As precious as the inheritance of all of us in this room. In conclusion, I began with the image of our homes being sacred. This complements the sanctity of our community houses of worship because this balance requires pulls of both the particular, which is me taking care of myself and my family, and the universal, which is me taking care of the world. I then explored how to do that through active engagement, through planning, through work, being counted in the community, being part of the give and take of charity that helps me to interact in a hopeful, healthy way with the world around me. I followed this with further ideas on how Jewish tradition strengthens my family by helping to focus us on our blessings, on being forgiving of our imperfections, and by remembering to have fun and be joyful. We do all this knowing that we live in a, in a confusing and ambiguous world. In summary, I am grateful to have inherited this wise tradition, one that is validated by many aspects of current American thinking, one that is ancient as well as dynamic and relevant in our time. Living in Minnesota in 2011, we all have so many choices. What I hope to be, what I strive to be, is a good person, a good wife, a good mother, daughter, sister, friend, neighbor, colleague, and community member. And for me, 
Judaism frames this. I have confidence in my own abilities, but I'm also aware of my own limits. I know I am not wise enough to invent all this structure on my own. The wisdom and tradition of our common ancestor Abraham has given me this ability, and that's what connects us all to each other. <laughs>